HubSpot deals are a salesperson's best friend in the HubSpot platform. Today, we're gonna to give you an overview of the whole slew of features that HubSpot just released to make deals even easier to manage and give you some basics if you're new to the deals tool. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. Deals inside of HubSpot are a great way for sales teams and salespeople to manage the opportunities that they're working on closing. So we're gonna start by giving you just a quick overview if you're new to deals, and then we'll walk through all of those great new features that HubSpot released that are gonna make deals even easier for your team to use. So let's dive in. So what we're looking at here is, I think the salespeople's favorite view inside of HubSpot, and it is the board view of your deals. So deals represent individual sales opportunities, and each board represents a pipeline. So we've got our demo sales pipeline that we're looking at here, and you can see we've got stages in this pipeline. And these stages represent steps that we're going through in the sales process. So each of these boxes is a deal or an open sales opportunity. And as a deal progresses, we can click a deal and drag it to the appropriate stage once it hits that milestone. Creating deals is super easy. We can click on this create deal button up here, fill out the details, and you can even customize in HubSpot what questions you're asking here. We can also do it directly from a contact or company record. So we're looking at a contact record here for Ted Lasso. We wanna create a deal, we go over to the sidebar here hit add, and we're gonna see a very similar form here, but with some of the information already populated. So back to our deals view. Once you are in this view, this is a great view to see all of the deals that you have open, and also a great view to lead a sales meeting if you've got your sales team kind of huddled around virtually or in person, and you want a, a great visual to see where all of your deals are at. So one of the first things you might notice is in addition to seeing what stage a deal is at, each of these deal cards here is gonna give you some great information about the deal. So you're gonna see the deal name, you can change which properties you show here, but this is a pretty common setup where you've got the deal amount and you have the deal, the date that you expect that deal to close. Uh, you've got tags that can be automatically added to the deal. I'll talk about that here in just a second. Uh, a couple little icons that you can hover over to tell you what company and contact are associated with the deal. And this is something that I really love that gives you great insight into how that deal is progressing and what you may need to do to move that deal to the next stage. So it's gonna give you the last activity that was tracked on the deal. So the last call you logged, email, in this case it's a note that we put on here 15 minutes ago. It's also going to give you the next activity schedule. So if you've got a meeting that's on your calendar that's integrated with HubSpot that's coming up, it'll say, you know, meeting in two days. It's also gonna show you if you've got any upcoming tasks. Some of, one of the things that HubSpot just released that is gonna make deals even easier to manage is a way for you to get even more information at the deal without having to uh, wait for another screen to load and kind of minimize the clicks. So if we click on this card, what we're gonna see is this deal preview on the right. And this is gonna give you even more information on the deal. So you can customize what properties you're storing on the deal and what properties show up here, but you're gonna see we see a lot more properties than just the amount and close date that we have available here. And as we scroll down, we get even more information. So in this case, I've got a note pinned to that record. This could be important information about the deal. Maybe there's a quirk about that person or something you, we wanna make sure you remember in every call with them. So you could pin some information there. It's also gonna show you the recent activities that have been logged to that deal and the contact company and any other objects you have associated to that deal if you're using tickets or custom objects. So right away, very quickly, I can click into a deal, get this information, click into another deal. I don't have to wait for another page to load or have multiple tabs open. I can go through my deals either by myself or in a sales meeting very, very quickly. Another thing that they just added that I really love is they've always had these totals at the bottom and you can kind of weight the stages based on, you know, we've got a 10% chance of closing deals in this consultation schedule. So we've got a total and we've got this weighted amount but they just released this show insights button. And this is gonna give you even more information about all of the deals in this view. Now I mentioned view, if you're familiar with HubSpot, you can customize views and change filters. Same thing with deals. So I've got a few saved views at the top. Right now I'm looking at all deals. 
If I change this to just my deals, deals that I'm an owner on, it's gonna change the deals that I see here. And if I show insights, this is going to update to just show the insights, the, the summary of information, summary of deals that are available with this filter. I can also have custom filters or use these quick filters. And if I ever wanna save a new view that can show up in this dropdown, I can do that here. A couple other things that are great about deals. So I mentioned that I would talk more about these tags. So these are colored tags that you can customize and have automatically show up on your deal. Great way to surface those deals that need a um, activity or that uh, maybe they're a high value deal or maybe there's something going on that you really wanna bring attention to. So the way that we customize those is the same the same place that we customize our stages here. So the easiest way to get to it from the deal view is to go to board actions here and go to edit stages. You can also get to it by going to the settings icon in the top right here. So this is where I would edit those stages if I wanted to and edit those probabilities, but it's also where I can edit my deal tags. So I go to deal tags, I see the deal tags that are available in this demo sales pipeline, but I can also customize those deal tags. So now I've got, I've got deal tags for a large deal and no next step. So we can edit those. We can change the name of them. We can add a description. We can change the color. We can determine what pipelines they apply to. And this is where the magic comes in. We can apply filters. So this tag was the large deal. In this case, for this company, a large deal is any deal that has an amount greater than $10,000. Anytime that happens, then we want to apply that tag automatically. And when that tag gets applied, it'll look just like this. And we can filter by those tags too, if we want to. But even if you've got all of your deals open, very easy visual to, to highlight those deals. And you can do that for all kinds of things. So you can see we've got large deal, no next step. Maybe you wanna mark deals for returning customers or deals that represent recurring value to you. you know, anything that's important to your company, as long as the information is on the deal, you can set up tags to represent that. And then the last thing that I wanna cover here is some of the automation capabilities with deals that again, just makes it even easier for your sales teams and salespeople to manage them because it's less manual work for you to do. So there's two different types of automation. One's very simple and that is you can set it up so that when you drag a deal from one stage to the next, so in this case, let's say this test deal, we lost this deal. We can set it up so that it pops up this form for your salesperson to fill in, okay, why did we lose this deal? Um, and if we mark other, we've got an option to add some information here. It's gonna update the close date for us and ask us to confirm that, and we can hit save. So this conditional stage properties in our settings is how we set that up. So you can see here on that close loss stage, we've got these properties and we can edit those properties. So right now we're asking close date, close last reason, and that other explanation, we've got the first two required. But if we wanted any other information to be required to be entered by the salesperson at that stage, we could add that. And we can add different things for any stage. So if there's a stage that you only want deals to move into when a salesperson maybe knows who the decision maker is or knows um, a certain, maybe the, they have to know the amount of the deal to move it to the third stage. You could set that up with conditional stage properties and making sure that that is enforced and that that information is logged into the CRM. And then we've got our more advanced automation. So we can quickly create workflows as long as you're on sales pro or higher that apply for any of these stages. So let's say anytime a consultation gets held, we want to automatically create a task for that salesperson to schedule a presentation. So if we click on create workflow here, we can say, okay, we want to create a task and we wanna say schedule presentation, it's a to-do. Uh, we wanna set that task to be due immediately once they move that stage into consultation held. We can set up if we want an email reminder, add any notes for them. We can do personalization tokens and all kinds of fun advanced things, save it out. And now we have this automation. So anytime a deal gets moved into that consultation held stage, we create a task to schedule the presentation, keeps those deals moving and keeps it very clear for the salespeople to know what to do next. 
So as you can see, if you're not using deals, it's a super powerful tool inside of HubSpot to add those insights, make it easy for salespeople to manage those opportunities and move through those opportunities and know what to do next. And if you are using deals, hopefully those new tools, the insights recap, some of the automation capabilities, the advanced preview screen that you can see on the right hand side when you click on that deal, hopefully that will add a lot of efficiency to your team. So that's all we've got for deals today. Make sure you hit subscribe to subscribe to the channel for HubSpot tips, tricks, and how to's, and check out the video description to subscribe to the HubSpot Hacks newsletter as well. See you next time.